Some boys may ride the open road in oatmeal, but they certainly don't rule it. This is Libby. And Libby and Jackie are really brats. And this is Summer, she's a real brat too. Affectionately known as brats, the Oatman Burrows are the stars in this Wild West production. And every day they wander out of the nearby mountains into town, looking for a little love and a little lunch. They can come in as early as seven o'clock in the morning before the tourists even get here. Um, but they always leave 4.30, 5 o'clock. The town closes. You know, so it's, they say, okay, it's time to go. Tur no tourists, we're gone. You know, <laughs> that's, that's their, the way they are. Come on. Johnny and Eric Anderson know a thing or two about the Oatman Burrows. They run a rescue ranch on the outskirts of town. They care for and rehabilitate injured burrows and have even been dubbed the Oatman Burrows unofficial caretakers. They come along Route 66. They're Route 66 burrows. They are, in fact, animals with a long history, the descendants of burrows released by gold miners back in the 1940s. But it wasn't until around the 1960s did the burrows start making their town appearances. Legend is the lure of food brought them in, and it's what keeps them there today. They're just too cute. You just want to take them home. But you can't take them home, but you want to. They're ours. You can't have them. <laughs> the burrows are gentle. And for mere peanuts, shops sell the cuisine of choice for the local celebrities, carrots and hay cubes. And it's not just the burrows eating it up. Visitors to Oatman can't get enough of the wild scene. Oh, I just couldn't believe it. They're just wandering wild and, you know, in England you wouldn't get that at all. Locals do more to make sure the burrows are well cared for. They also celebrate when the herd sees a new addition. When a new baby's born, whoever sees it first gets to name it, and then they post it on the post office wall so everybody can see the new name. About a dozen burrows make up the Oatman herd, but don't think the tourists are the ones having all the fun. They love to um, uh, look in people's bags, you know, if, if they've gone shopping or anything. They think that anything with a, any, any, any bag has got food in it. So they'll, uh, I've seen them come up behind somebody and just take their bag and run. You know, it, it's so funny. Some may act a little shy at first, but for others, it's all in a day's work. Hey, hey, knock that off. You don't do that. Thank you. You need to learn to share. <laughs> As for the Oatman residents, they have no trouble sharing the spotlight with the wild burrows. The animals have become more than a tourist attraction. They're family. Uh, we had actually talked about moving away, and, but I can't leave the burrows. <laughs> this is my life. These burrows are my life. I would not, I truly believe I would not be here today if it was not for these burrows. I saved them, they saved me. That's just the way it goes. I recommend coming to visit our burrows any day, any time. Of course, they clock in and out. They're here when the tourists are and they leave when the tourists go. They like their free food. <laughs> and folks in Oatman wouldn't have it any other way.